big one left and then the big slide path on the right. That's the one that's the door. Keep going forward. And he'll stop skiing outside of these rotor blades. Okay? So whether this machine is running or not, you do not ski in any closer than where you're standing right now. Okay? You can then walk around the front of the helicopter. I want you to stay at least a meter away from the front. I don't want you to get so close that you may accidentally hit or grab one of these. I have heat on this. You break one, we're all going home. Okay? Probably walking. Or <laughs> climb in. We'll open and close this door is very simple. But you have to do exactly how I show it. And at the end of this, I want at least a person or two of each group to demonstrate it. Grab this handle here, pull this handle straight down. Once the door's open, you can take your hand off that handle. But don't take your hand off this one. Unlocked. Okay? When you climb in, the other thing is our policy is if it doesn't matter if the rotor is spinning or not inside the helicopter. So we need to store them either in the basket or in the cheek here. So we have extra equipment in the helicopter that we can deploy. And in our training wow. generally, cliff rescue, full strength, big static line, and some equipment. To, to essentially hold the person safely in the crevasse or on the cliff until the big bag with the actual big rope arrives so we can yank somebody up. Thank you. As well as the history of the industry training program, um, and it would be great to hear from other countries and how it works and just share some of uh, what takes place. The program that you work with and yeah, I'm Catherine Johnston. I'm with, um, it's called the Applied Snow and Avalanche uh, Research Program at the University of Calgary. We call ourselves ASARC for short. I got it uh, nice and close by.
hopefully we'll summit first choice. That's the idea. <laughs> All right. And uh, just to give you a little look around, uh, this is the Selkirk Mountains. This is once again different than yesterday and couldn't see anything yesterday. Uh, the Albert Ice Field is just on the other side of the ridge, so we'll get a view of that when we... called Scabby Abbey, which is this call between the rocks here. And they, we can ski it when the snow conditions are good all the way to the valley bottom. And that avalanche happened the following day, and it's covered. It's, you see here. it's a different national park, not Revelstoke National Park. The first it's very run? This is their the first, first run. run. It looks horrible. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> 